वेलकम स्टूडेंट टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट ए सी सर्किट्स सो द फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द इक्वेशन ऑफ अल्टरनेटिंग करेंट एंड वोल्टेजेस सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ ए सी करेंट्स आर जेनरेटेड तो ए सी करेंट्स आर जनरली जनरेटेड ऑन अल्टरनेटिंग करेंट जनरेटर हेयर वी हैव टू पोल्स दिस इज द नॉर्थ पोल एंड दिस इज द साउथ पोल सो द flux start emerging from the north pole and they, they will terminate on the south poles so let us consider a rectangular conductor having n number of turns placed in the this uniform magnetic field so this conductor will experience the maximum flux linkage when this will be in this position means this will be parallel with the x axis now this conductor start rotating in the with with a angular velocity of omega in this particular direction so in this deflected position the component of the flux which which will be intersected with this coil will be phi equal to phi m cos omega t as we know when we will resolve this vector we will get two component as this is the angle phi theta so we will get phi m cos omega t as phi is the flux so we will get phi m cos omega t and another component will be phi m sin omega t so our useful component is phi equal to phi m cos omega t now as we know the induced emf depend upon the number of turns hence the flux linkage is n phi okay so let us put the value of phi in this equation so it will become become n phi cos omega t now as per faraday's law of electromagnetic induction we know that emf induced in a coil is equivalent to rate of change of flux so math the mathematical expression for that is e equal to minus d phi by d, dt n phi the minus sign here indicates that the emf generated in such a <coughs> the emf generated in such a fashion that it will oppose the cause which inducing it so now if we we put the value of phi from the above equation we will get minus n as n is a constant so we we can take it out from the derivation so n d phi by dt phi m cos omega t now again what we have, we will have we will have n phi m is a constant maximum flux phi m stand for maximum flux so it is a constant so we will take it out from the derivation so n phi m and the derivation for the cos omega t is minus sin uh, derivation the d, d, d by dt of cos theta is minus sin theta so it will be minus sin omega t and omega is a constant so we take it out as constant okay so this is our equation so from there we get e equal to e, e equals equal to omega n phi m sin omega t volts okay so <coughs> we name it as equation 1 now as we have sin theta here and we know the value of sin theta is maximum when it is 90 degree so when the coil has turned through 90 degree then sin theta equal to 1 as we know sin sin 90 is the value of sin 90 is 1 so now the equation will become em equal to em stand for the maximum flux maximum induced emf so em equal to omega n phi m as sin theta is sin 90 since sin 90 degree is equal to 1 okay now we can further modi modify this this equation as omega n bm into a where bm stand for maximum flux density and a is the area of the area of cross section so as we know maximum flux density b is phi m by a where phi m is the maximum flux and a is the area of cross section so from this equation we will get phi m equal to b max into the area of cross section so in this fashion we modi modified this equation to this further as we know omega is equal to omega is the angular velocity and the value of omega is is omega is equal to 2 pi f so 
ओमेगा इक्वल टू टू पाई एफ सो टू पाई एफ एन बी एम साइन ओमेगा टी नाउ एज वी हैव ई एम इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा एन फाइव एम नाउ इन द इक्वेशन वन वी ऑल्सो वी ऑल्सो हैव दीज वेल दीज वेरिएबल्स ओमेगा एन एंड फाइव एम सो दिस कैन बी रिप्लेस by em in equation 1 so what we what we will get the equation substituting these values in equation 1 we get e equal to em in place of omega and phi m we put em and sin omega t so this is the equation for alternating voltage and in the same fashion we can write i equal to im sin omega t so as we see in the expression itself we have a sign value and we if we plot the graph the graph will the graph will be in this fashion so this is similar to a sine wave for that reason the equation for alternating voltage or alternating voltage itself is sometimes termed as the sinusoidal voltage okay so this is our equation for alternating current and voltages now from in the next video we will discuss the basic terminologies associated with this and one more thing we can derive omega is equal to 2 pi f where f is the frequency frequency of supply where f is the frequency of supply and the bm is the maximum flux density thank you